Assisted suicide, death with dignity. You've heard those terms associated with Brittany Maynard, who had terminal brain cancer. She died on Saturday after drinking a lethal mixture of drugs. News Channel 8's Peter Bernard is live with the story of a Bay Area woman who is facing that same fight. Peter? Good evening, Gail. Same illness, different choice. Michelle DeYoung has no intention of going down the same path as Brittany Maynard, but she supports the idea of having that idea as a choice. Diagnosed with brain cancer, Brittany Maynard spent the past months enjoying life as much as she could, then posted this final goodbye on Facebook. I can't even tell you the amount of relief that it provides me to know that I don't have to die the way that it's been described to me that my brain tumor would take me. I was saddened um, to, to hear that she ended her life. Michelle DeYoung also has an aggressive brain tumor. She understands what Brittany went through emotionally and physically. You know, I do support death with dignity, so I, I do believe she was suffering. And I don't think she would have would have done that if she wasn't suffering tremendously. Michelle thinks people are talking about brain cancer more than ever before. It's been good for me. I feel that it puts us closer to a cure uh, when there when there is a light shined on a certain diagnosis. Terminally ill patients often turn to hospice, and they sometimes ask to end their life. That's not legal in Florida. In hospice, we do not support um, the patients hastening their, their death um, at all. Hospice works to make patients as comfortable as possible. In hospice, we support a patient's quality of life, trying to maximize whatever time they have left, allow them to make the most of life um, for whatever time they have. Radiation and chemo have failed for Michelle. She's now in a clinical trial at Moffitt and hopeful. I feel like something positive is going to come out of this. And we're pulling for her. Michelle calls Brittany a champion for brain cancer awareness. Again, she doesn't support, uh, she's not going to go for the whole assisted suicide thing, but she thinks it should be an option, option for those who want to do it. Gail? Well, what if somebody is getting hospice care, but they insist that they want the option to take their own lives? How's that handled? Well, hospice won't assist. They're not going to have anything to do with it. But that doesn't rule out the possibility that a patient can turn down food, water, and ventilation. And if they want to go to another state and carry it out, that's their business. Hospice just won't have anything to do with it. No, they're there to comfort. All right, Peter Bernard, live in Tampa tonight. Thank you.